So throughout the world, there are pre-existing biological labs that are designed for testing animal and human pathogens for regular infectious disease detection. There have been a lot of questions online about bioweapons labs in Ukraine. I'm standing in front of a lab here in Kyiv that was built partially with U.S. funds from the De Defense Department. And it's a veterinary uh, lab that to, to apparently, according to that sign right there, uh, do research on agricultural issues related to veterinary science. It was built with a couple million dollars, according to the documents that were found by Lara Logan, uh, of U.S. funds. I would imagine that this newer building over here on this side is the part that was built by U.S. funds. But uh, nevertheless, it appears to still be operating. And uh, whether or not it's a deep state bioweapons lab, I think remains to be proven. Uh, there are reasons why the U.S. State Department and the D Defense Department actually uh, supported agricultural and um, veterinary bio research, especially across the world uh, for, for many reasons. And uh, we saw that in the Gulf War in uh, Iraq as well. So uh, there are certainly possibilities for a uh, very legitimate reason to build a lab here. But this is it. This is one of the labs that they've said uh, is one of those bioweapons labs. We're in a nondescript neighborhood in Kyiv. Uh, look here. Look over here. We're in a nondescript neighborhood. It's not anything, uh, uh, not, not, we're, we're just downtown Kyiv, really. Uh, so uh, whether or not this is uh, some nefarious plan is anybody's guess, I guess. Uh, if you're explaining it to a sixth grader, how do you explain bio labs around the world, supported by the Defense Department? Sure. So throughout the world, there are pre-existing biological labs that are designed for testing animal and human pathogens for regular infectious disease detection. Um, the United States government has interest in these labs also being able to detect um, like both foreign animal diseases as well as um, military type pathogens like anthrax or um, uh, even, you know, we worry about Ebola and other, other types of bacterial and viral diseases. So what the United States government does all over the world is aid these labs in being advanced. We just advance them forward enough that they're able to also differentiate out these different things. A good example is anthrax can be in the soil all over the world. And so um, these labs likely have the ability to detect anthrax, but not the ability to differentiate them. So the American government would advance their skills to where they're able to um, differentiate out these pathogens. So it's not a nefarious deep state plot to create bioweapons around the world to attack our enemies or release the next pandemic? Um, no, not at all. I mean, for one, the American government is, uh, you know, we've agreed not to actively develop biological or chemical weapons. Um, and so that's, we have all sorts of agreements to say we, we don't really do that anymore. Um, it's mostly a defense network um, to make sure that, you know, whether, like say, whether it's natural disease or man-made disease, that they're not, you know, that we can detect them before they're in our front yard. 